Hey everyone, this is the Gadget Guru. This is going to be a new type of video I'm going to start doing. It's called Gadget Talk. I'm basically going to go over what I think are some of the good options this format for gadgets and why I think these cards that I'm talking about are better than other cards. These are going to be cards that you don't see in standard gadget builds. So I won't be covering common stuff like Book of Moon or any crap like that. I'm going to be covering off the wall stuff that I think personally is good tech. And I'll explain why. One card I've seen a lot of people talking about running in gadget decks is Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. Uh, 1850, 3 star, 1300. When he's attacked in defense mode, he, retur he returns the monster that attacked him to the top of the opponent's deck. I want to kind of show my alternative. Like I, I like Jiu-Jitsu, -Jiu but I have another monster in mind that I think is better. And... I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why, and that monster is Wall of Illusion. Now, first you're thinking, okay, whoop de doo, big deal. What do we care? Wall of Illusion has 50 less defense, and it only returns it to the hand. However, think of this: while this has 50 less defense, when is that gonna matter? If it's an 1800, it still can't get over it without a collude, and it'll still get re returned from the field. And if it's a 1900, it's still gonna get over it anyway. But with this guy, you have a much bigger option. See, Legend of Jutsu Master says when this card is tacked in defense position, that means you can't switch him to it. Once they once they hit it, if you set it face down, and they hit it with, like, let's say they hit it with Bora, and they take 150 who's back to the top of their deck, you don't want to switch it into attack mode now because then you'll take damage and it won't get spun. Now with Wall of Illusion, it's totally different. Wall of Illusion is, 1100, is a 1,800, and it says any monster attacking this monster. So with this guy, it's different. You set this guy face down, they run into it with a Bora, you flip it up, they go back to the hand, they take 100, and then you can turn this guy offensive and push for damage. And then if they summon again and attack over, they get spun again. So you can get a double spin out of Wall of Illusions. And then furthermore, beyond that, it has a built-in compulsory in any in any mode so they attack it in any way attack defense face down face up doesn't matter they're getting spun so it can really mess them up when they got synchros because they're thinking oh crap because with the jujitsu they're like oh i'll hit it with a bora okay i'll just like you know enemy controller to attack mode attack over it but with this you can't do that if you attack this at all you're going you're gone you know so i think this is a much better alternative than jujitsu master also, if you're a gadget runner who likes, who runs lots of darks, um, Sangan, Gale, say you run two or three of these, say you run a Tragodia, a Gorge, this will allow you to splash a lure of darkness into your deck more easily because so, you'll have enough targets. If you've got two of these, a Tragodia, a Gorge, a Sangan, and a Gale, that's six targets. If you run, if you run one allure, because it's limited to one, it's a 45% ratio that you'll have a dark with when you have the allure. Which actually comes out to like an 80% chance that if you have an allure, you have a dark. And so this helps you with dark builds too. But even more so, I like Wall of Illusion for another reason. The other reason I do like Wall of Illusion over Jujutsu Master is Juju, as I said, once he goes to attack mode, you ain't got much choice. Like, if you chain a Book of Moon on him, cool, that's a fun move. But with this guy, even in attack mode, they're sitting there going, oh crap, if I attack that, I get spun. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, they don't want to attack it. They literally hesitate when they th start thinking about attacking it. Because I did that to a friend of mine. He, he was sitting there going, if only it was a fucking Jiu-Jitsu. If it was a Jiu-Jitsu, I wouldn't care, because he had an Aaron. But the fact that I switched it to attack mode would mean you have to summon Aaron, attack it, and then you'd get bounced. So this can deal with Aaron and all of them too. So I think this is a, per personally, I think this is a really good card. You guys should try it out. It's amazing gadgets. It's amazing in even anti-meta decks, any anti-meta deck to be honest. And it's fun because it's got the automatic built-in fin, fin Spectre no matter what. I run two of my gadgets. I run a 50 card gadget. I might bump it up to three. It, it, it'll be interesting. I have to decide if I want to, to be honest, because I like I, I like my gadget deck how it is. But I may I may try and throw a third one in there to see if that 
fits with the deck. So I wanted to let you guys know about this card so that you can try it out and see what you think about it. I also wanted to let you know I'm going to start doing this new type of video. So tell me what you guys think about this type of video, whether you like it, whether you don't. I mean, if you have suggestions you might want me to consider going over, um, I already have the second video planned for this. I should be doing it sometime later this week. I don't know when. But this is a new type of video I'm doing. I hope you guys like it. This has been the Gadget Guru, and I'll talk to you all later. Alright, bye.